Hello, welcome back. This is the final 10 minute video preparing for the SEMA operational case study in May, Man Manseco. It's a Ultimate Access production and my name is Sandy Hood. We're looking at the topic of outsourcing and outsourcing appears within the E1 syllabus in section A. Section A in E1 is the largest of the uh, sections accounting for 25% of the total E1 marks. Here um, it's mentioned in 1C and we, where they talk about uh, business process outsourcing. It's, it's tested in most sets of variants, so in virtually every set of exams from February 2015 onwards for operational case study there's been an outsourcing question. So I thought it was useful for us to look at some past questions. In February 2018, earlier this year, uh, the question was the advantages and disadvantages of outsourcing the process instead of carrying out the analysis in-house. And this was based on some data which was to do with hiring a machine to outsource the process and knowing that there was four companies available that could offer this service and that they, they've already done some investigation so they know certain facts about those companies. And the examiner's comments are that the second element of the task, which is what this was, uh, was well answered and candidates clearly understood the potential benefits and limitations of outsourcing. But the reason that candidates failed to ga gain high marks was a lack of application. Now we know how important application is. Application is what puts the theoretical knowledge and the models into the context of Manseco. And that unless you do that, you will fall into the same trap that the students who attempted this particular question in February did. So other things were useful here. Listen to this. For example, while most textbooks list loss of in-house skills as a disadvantage of outsourcing, this did not apply in this situation as the analysis to be outsourced was a brand new process. And then the bit that I've highlighted in yellow. No credit can be given for answers that directly contradict the facts presented in the case scenario. This, this serves to reinforce some of the points that we've looked at in previous videos. And certainly today, I, I've got these three things that I thought you should remember from that. You must apply, apply your knowledge of outsourcing to the scenario presented in the unseen. Application means writing about Manseco using data from the unseen and from the pre-seen. And textbook knowledge is only rewarded when it is applied to Manseco. So the fact that something has turned up in a textbook doesn't make it right. It's only right if that fact is applicable to the Manseco scenario. Very, very important. And you can see the examiner's report uh, has said basically that. Let's have a look at May 2017. Please prepare a report on the benefits and limitations of outsourcing our IT processes. Most candidates were made a good attempt at the first element of this task and clearly understood the potential benefits and limitations of outsourcing. What let candidates down though was a lack of consideration that it was the IT processes to be outsourced. So it's not an outsourcing question, it's an outsourcing of IT in that particular company, which meant a lack of application and therefore a limit to the mark. This, this word application, you have to write every paragraph about Manseco when you write your exam. Here, the May 2016, the directors would also like to know the benefits of carrying out the online sales function in the in-house compared to outsourcing to either the TRU group subsidiary or the third party specialist. In the second element of this task, 
Candidates generally reviewed the benefits of carrying out the online sales function in-house reasonably well. However, many candidates wasted time by discussing the drawbacks as well, even though these had not been asked for. Many candidates also failed to differentiate in any way between the alternatives of outsourcing to a group subsidiary or to the third party. Some of the key areas such as keeping control and confidentiality were not often explored and very few candidates mentioned that a service level agreement would not be required saving time and money. However, candidates did explore some other areas that gained marks. So again, make sure that you don't waste time. That Sometimes I hear on other lecturers' videos them say, well, if they ask you for the benefits, give them the drawbacks as well. Let me tell you, if they wanted the drawbacks, they would have asked for them. So here, they only ask for the benefits, so only give them their benefits. If they ask you to evaluate, that's a different matter. That means that you've got to do both. But here, when they only ask for the benefits, they've got no expectation that they're going to reward anybody who puts forward drawbacks with any mark. And you can see it. This is what the examiner has written. So, let's look at the outsourcing and some of the ideas from Anseco. Deliveries or even the whole distribution function. Parts of the finance function. The IT function, especially internet sales. Uh, you might spot more clues. We're looking at Manseco. Um, the distribution centre could be, for example, completely closed and distribution outsourced. Let's look at a practice question. Hello, finance officer. Please prepare a report that I can send to such and such covering the following areas. The benefits and limitations of outsourcing our IT processes, which might look familiar, because this is the same set of questions as I showed you in our ninth video. Only in the ninth video, we were looking at the second task, the relevant costing. So here I've cut out the relevant costing part, and I've left only the benefits and limitations of outsourcing on IT processes. You need to understand the pre-seen case study. You don't need to remember the numbers. It's the understanding. So follow the process. Identify the question. Plan your answers. Check that your plan addresses what those task requirements are. And then quickly write up the short paragraphs. Plan using the word document provided rather than scratch pad. It just saves time. The examiner agrees with me. One of two tasks within a 45 minute section is worth about 20, 22 and a half minutes or 12 and a half percent. So you should be aiming for eight good paragraphs, earning one mark per paragraph to, to be able to achieve a 64% mark. Here we start and we're in straight away. Benefits, outsource company expertise. Um, there, we, because we're able to use the expertise of the outsource company. It saves the need for us to have our own technical team. The outsourcer will be up to date with technological changes. There'll be some better cost control because we'll have a fee agreement, flexibility to change the capacity. We can go up or down, perhaps using their facilities. And cost savings on the equipment purchases. They're bound to have um, the ability to be able to share their bulk buying opportunities and the limitations where well, we could become dependent upon the outsource supplier um, we, we need to be communicating our business process to them so that they are clear about what we need from them we might be worried about confidentiality the IT system is an area which if other organisations in our industry were able to get hold of, they, they could have a distinct advantage competitively. So we would confidentiality would be a worry. Similarly, um, there are they, we could be locked into the contract. There may be costs of monitoring. Sometimes, when you look at these transaction costs, uh, you sometimes forget that once you've agreed to outsource, that you need to send somebody over there to keep checking to make sure that. The outsourcer is doing what you want, making sure that they're not um, uh, carrying out any anything that we could consider to be unethical. 
So the monitoring costs would need to be uh, recognised from the minute that we draw up the outsourcing agreement. And yes, within the, our in-house expertise is likely to be lost simply because we're no longer carrying out the activity ourselves. So 13 um, paragraphs, or cer certainly 13 headings, who knows how many paragraphs we're going to get. Um, the benefits and limitations, well, we've pretty much hit the nail on the head. We are answering the same question that they've asked us. There they are. We've identified the question, we've planned the answer, and now we've just checked, and we've made sure that our plan is dealing with the benefits and limitations of outsourcing the Manseco IT processes. I haven't given you my answer this time, but you should be looking at about four to five line paragraphs. Uh, try and avoid commas in sentences, short sentences. Uh, the, your examiner and the markers will be reading them fast. So subclauses and things like that just won't work. Uh, make it absolutely clear that you're writing about Manseco and the directors don't have any knowledge, can't be assumed to know the jargon, so keep it jargon free and just keep it relevant to what they want to hear. And develop the point so that you are definitely answering the question. So don't just give them points, explain why those points are relevant. Outsourcing is a good topic for practice questions. The pre-scene for the Manseco provides plenty of opportunities. Just think of your scenarios. Revise it, think of the scenarios, and then practice planning and then writing up your answers. Hope you've enjoyed the series of introductory recordings. And I wish you all the very, very best for your exam success. Thank you very much and goodbye.